Hey, I'm Kier. I work on the managed service for Apache Kafka at Google. Want to see how to get your applications to talk to one of our clusters? Let's go. We'll start with a simple producer application. It reads configuration from a properties file, initializes a client, and uses it to send a message. As you would expect from a test application, the message is, hello world. We can leave the code as it is. Everything we need to change is in the configuration. Let's take a look at the client.properties file. Right now, it is configured to connect to a local Kafka broker. That's the first thing to change. Let's point it to the bootstrap URL of a managed Kafka cluster. You can get this URL in the cluster configuration UI. We also need to change the security settings. We need an authenticated, encrypted connection to connect to a managed Kafka cluster. For that, we'll use the SASL plane protocol and OAuth bare mechanism. This will let us use application default credentials that are installed on Compute Engine virtual machines. This is great because we don't need to manage passwords or other secrets. For a generic Kafka OAuth client to use Google Cloud credentials, we need a specialized login handler. This handler translates the application default credentials into a format that the Kafka client expects. So let's configure that. We're almost done. To build this application, we need to tell Java where to get this callback class. In this case, I'm using a Maven project to manage dependencies. So we'll need to add a dependency to the pom.xml file. Let's look at the pom.xml. Here's the package that includes the class we need. I will uncomment it and save. Now, Maven can pull in the login handler implementation. From here on, you can build your project and run it on a Compute Engine virtual machine or GKE. So here we are. We've taken a generic Kafka application and configured it to work with a managed Kafka cluster. If you want to do this in your own project, check out our Java and Python quick starts that are linked in the description. These include full sample apps and config files you can copy and paste. With that, happy coding.